and welcome back to the channel on this video i've got my friend keith with us uh, how are you doing keith pretty good mark and he's riding his aerial rider grizzly and i'm riding the lyric graffiti and something a little bit different today we got a new camera we're trying out it's the it's the insta 360 x4 so uh we're looking forward to seeing how this is going to turn out yeah, it's pretty exciting and uh so let's go for a little ride and uh, this will be part one we're going to do a couple of test videos so this is test video number one so uh off we go i got to change my setting here so we're still playing around with the camera trying to get used to it here this is the first time actually coming out and recording a video and uh looking forward to this though there's Keith's motorhome. No, I'm just kidding. He doesn't own Not that. Way. Not yet. <laughs> All right. So this time, the cool thing about it with this Insta360 camera is we aren't going to miss anything on the ride, which is really cool. So if a dog comes chasing me, we're going to see that, although I don't want that to happen. Whoops, I wanted to turn. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking about some other stuff and missed my turn there. It was looking cloudy early this morning and like it was going to rain but now the sun's come out so that's cool so for anybody watching in Canada happy Canada Day because this is the Canada Day weekend July 1st and hopefully you've gotten rid of all your snow uh, and you're able to ride your electric bikes. As you can see, I have a light jacket on right now because temperatures in the 60s, a little bit cool, but I was surprised uh, to come out and see sunshine. I wasn't expecting the sun. Uh, yeah, it's actually better than I thought it was going to be. That's why I wore the light jacket, but... This road could use a repaving. This road could use a repaving. Yeah, sure could. I think in the second video, we'll try the camera a little bit higher. Yeah, we'll give it a different angle here. But you know what I always think here now when I'm riding with the camera sitting in this position, I'm thinking um, just because I'm not used to it, I'm worried about going a little carefully over everything, you know. Oh, yeah. But I think the clamp, this is, I got... So with this camera, I should mention that I got the uh, motorcycle kit as opposed to the bicycle kit. And with the motorcycle kit, we get the better uh, clamp, which I was wanting. I didn't need the uh, I didn't need the chest uh, mount because I already have that uh, from my GoPro, so I can just use that. I just bought a the adapter that allows you to use this camera on that. If should I uh, want to use that, but We'll see how often now I'm going to use the chest mount. It might not be that often. But this gives us lots of options, you know, with this camera. The other thing I should mention that I uh, recently got was a green screen. And I've got a, a setup for green screen that is not set up yet but I'm gonna work on that so uh, occasionally maybe we can do a we're gonna do a UE here I didn't turn because that car was there but 
So the green screen, uh, look for a, a test ride on that video uh, with the green screen, a test run uh, some at some point. We'll see how that goes. So I've got the green screen and the lighting, but I have to uh, set it up still. But that's, uh, like I say, something to look forward to uh, in the future. This is a beautiful neighborhood right here. Lots of trees. I say it's a beautiful neighborhood, but with the beautiful trees comes, nice comes fall time and lots of leaves to rake up. So I was just mentioning, Keith, on the video here that we got a green screen uh, that we're going to be setting up in the future and giving that a test ride or test run. See how that goes. Yeah, we'll get it set up, and uh, so we may do some uh, in-studio, if you want to call it, uh, videos, and maybe uh, Keith will be my first uh, guest. Maybe we can do some uh, Q&As or something and ask uh, everyone to uh, submit questions if you want us to answer, and we'll do our best if we know the answer or try to. I'm no expert uh, in anything, so... Uh, I can only speak on whatever experience I have. That's about it. I don't claim to know anything, really. Do you? <laughs> nope. <laughs> you have to ask my wife. Yeah. She knows everything. Wives do. Wives know everything. And that's probably a good thing because we don't, like I say, know anything. So. Just don't tell her we had that conversation. You know what else? Since we're now into the month of July here, we're not far, keeping our fingers crossed, into getting the Graffiti X. Oh, yeah. Whoa! And then we're going to have a real challenge because uh, we got to knock this grizzly uh, off of its uh, pedestal. <laughs> Can you smell that hay there? Fresh yeah, cut? They just cut off. Yeah. Actually, there's uh, you can do some riding in there. I, I tried riding with this, but it's bumpy as hell. Yeah. Because it's got no uh, rear suspension. But uh, I tried to catch up to and keep up with a Saran. I met up with a guy over here that has a Saran. Oh, he's and uh, he, <laughs> I couldn't keep there's up. No competition in that, right? He's got the nice full suspension, you know. That bike just glides over the bumps, right? Whereas I was feeling it, everything. It was kind of a, a little bit of a muddy day, if I remember. There was some pretty good puddles over there and stuff, but... Was he going pretty fast through you? At, at times, yeah. I mean, I was trying to keep up with him, and then he just lost me after a while. And then eventually I never saw the guy again. I'd forgotten his name and everything. He had just gotten that Saran. He hadn't had it long. And he was kind of ripping around that he said he had, uh, he was uh, using the, the time because the babysitter was still looking after their kids. So he said he had a little more time to burn. So he wanted to try his bike out some more, his new uh, Saran. Okay. So he was ripping around here. I'm not sure that trail goes. No, that's the one that I uh, have gone up to it, but I didn't go into it because. I stopped at the sign when it said no uh, motorized vehicles. So, uh, yeah, I know. We'll see. We'll go in there and see. When I get the new bike, we'll see where that goes. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting the full suspension. This sure is a beautiful neighborhood, though. I like it over here. I like the shade of these trees. Nice and cool. Yeah, we're going to stop it over here.
Let's just go to this. I think it's a dead end here. Maybe it's not a dead end, but let's go down here. So we're about to wrap up test one of the new Insta360 camera. We're shooting this in the 8K and then we're going to, it's going to be uh, 4K when you get it up on YouTube here. All right, so we'll end it right here. So that's going to do it for this uh, test run of the camera here, the Insta360 X4. And hopefully this shows up well. Okay. Uh, it should be uh, it should be pretty cool. And uh, we're going to go and do a test ride or test video number two coming up here. But that ends it. Thank you, Keith, for joining me on this video. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, just hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell. And if you want to comment on this or any other videos, uh, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Maybe let us know uh, what you think of the quality of this video. And uh, uh, hopefully it's good because uh, we plan on doing a lot more with this camera. So once again, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Keith, on this video. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.